It's like that one vine of uh, the dude that's stirring the mac and cheese, and he's like, this is what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> I want to first start off by saying this is not a sponsorship video. I saw this on the Steam page and was like, I need to download this. I need to play this. This is a demo. It is available now for free on Steam. You can go check it out. But hey, hairdresser simulator developers, I would be open to a sponsorship when the full game comes out. Just saying. But today we are going to dive into the demo for hairdresser simulator. I want to see what this is all about. I've been covering a lot of different different simulation games on the channel as of recently. No, this isn't a life simulator per se, and it also isn't a building simulator. It's a simulator, and it focuses on one very specific aspect of life, hair and hairdressing. So without further ado, let's start a brand new campaign. Are you up for a new hairdressing adventure? Absolutely. Hey there. I hope you're ready to learn. Yeah, I'm ready to learn. Looks like we have a timer at the top right. Nine minutes. Looks like we have $150. And we're starting at Jordy's Barber piece. Hairdressing can be quite the challenge. Let me tell you. I don't know if I'm ready. Am I? Lord, I really hope I do not f*** up somebody's do. See this young woman over there? That's Posey. One of my regulars. Well, if I'm going to be doing her hair, she's definitely not going to be a regular after that. Quite the free spirit. Sometimes, even an airhead. She has some lovely curls that sadly she doesn't take good care of. Sometimes it's better to straighten them out and put on a layer of decent hair dye. Probably shouldn't give her a lecture about hair care afterwards, but it won't stop me from trying. Geez, this guy sure does talk a lot. Ooh, there we go. Welcome to Hairdresser Simulator. Do you dream of a career as a hairdresser or are you simply excited by the subject? Here you can make your dreams come true and express your creativity. Move the mouse to look around. Okay, use the W, A, S, and D keys to move around the salon. All right, so we are in the salon. Go wash the customer's hair. That's our current objective. Walk up to the hair washing chair and press E to start working with the customer. So we're behind the desk right now. The graphics are insane. Oh my gosh. The lighting is really cool too. You can even see all of the details on the wood itself. Gosh, this looks beautiful. Also, I do want to say, characters in this game look really, really good. All right, so we're going to go and wash this client's hair. We have to head over to the washer, press E to move customer and hold E to move customer instantly. So I'm guessing that they're going to walk over once we, yup. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, not her hair going straight up. All right, we have to press E to use. I don't know what was worse for my hair, the road trip there or living in a tent. Oh. I tried to take care of it. In the end, I was too busy having fun. It was my first big music festival after all. Now that Thanksgiving is around the corner, I want to make sure my family isn't too worried about me. I actually really like the speaking prompts. I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first. I didn't know if it was going to be a tutorial thing, but it really helps establish a connection between the player and the client, you know? Grandpa already doesn't think I have a real job. Well, f*** with grandpa No thinks. need to make him think I'm a swamp witch. Not a swamp witch? Oh my gosh. Girl, no one's opinion but your own matters here. And that goes for anyone. Do your hair the way you wish. Dress the way you wish. Who cares what other people think? I don't know. Maybe I'm just at a point in my life where I just don't give two craps about what people think about me anymore. And I have to tell you, when you're living like that, life is so much easier. I'm way past trying to explain what being a freelancer means. You gotta pick your battles. She's a rambler. She's quite the rambler. All right. Tutorial. Hold down right click to take out the tools you need for your work. You will then see a circular menu with the available equipment. Hold down left click to start pouring water. The shower is your most important tool when washing a customer's hair. Aim at the customer's hair and press left click to soap the client's hair. Shampoo needs to be applied to well soaked hair and select shower again and hold left click to rinse out shampoo from the customer's hair. Really good tutorial. So we can use W A S and D to move around the sink. Oh my gosh, look at the little 3D view. It even says the percentage of their head that you've covered. So you have to make sure that you get every single part. The hair looks so good too. Oh my gosh. Look at how detailed this is. Wait, I'm trying to think who made this game. Is this the same people that made House Flipper? Because the graphics in that game are also really, really 
good. So if that's the case, I'm kind of not surprised, but also that sets the bar really high for this. All right, so we are going to choose our tool. We have our sprinkler. We have two more things that are locked and now we have to wet the customer. Oh my gosh. Look at the physics of this, it's so cool. Oh, that is so freaking cool. And as we're spraying it, the percentages are going up. Okay, you guys, this is really cool. Okay, now we're gonna do the shampoo and we're gonna start shampooing her hair. Oh my gosh, the sounds, oh my gosh. It's like that one vine of uh, the dude that's stirring the mac and cheese and he's like, this is what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> Does anybody else remember that? It's always about the uh, the vines, guys. Do it for the vine, right? Do it for the vine. All right, our next task is to wash off the shampoo. God, this is so freaking cool. <gasps> oh, man. So we also get to like cut people's hair too. It's not just about like washing stuff. We're actually gonna be able to cut it. Oh God. I feel like I'm gonna mess up so bad. Like I'm gonna leave people looking janky as hell. If you keep the camera completely still and you look at her nose and you look at her lips, you can see her like moving around and twitching a little bit. And that's just so freaking cool. You know, that's how it is in real life. No one's gonna be perfectly still. All right, so it looks like we're done. I'm just gonna check and make sure I have 0% for every single part of her head, which I do. So we're good. We're going to hit escape here. And what do we do next? Come to the hairdresser chair and press E to take care of the customer. So she's going to get up off of the chair. She's going to walk on over. Animation's a little weird, but you know what? Good enough for a hairdressing simulator. And now we're going to give her a haircut. Oh God, I'm so scared. Before working with the client, select hair dryer and hold left click to blow dry the customer's hair. Oh, I'm so excited for this. All right, we're gonna blow dry our hair. That means we're gonna have to put this hot ass thing in her face. Oh God. Oh, we have a lot of tools. They're all locked, but holy crap. All right, we have the hair dryer. Are you ready, Miss Ma'am? Yaga! <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God. I love how gradual it is too. It's not just instant. And also the freaking hair physics. I like the physics when washing, you know, and putting the soap in and scrubbing, but this is also really freaking cool. You can click on the hologram to hold all hair, but the clicked part. You can also divide it into smaller parts by toggling the control above the hologram. Press right click, select paintbrush, and then the color you want to apply to your client's hair, then left click to select the hair part and move the mouse down while holding left click to paint. Remember, coloring client's hair requires a precision and creativity. Don't be afraid to experiment. And as RuPaul says, and don't it up, but we probably will end up f***ing it up. That's just the truth here. All right, so we're gonna do some color here. We have a dyeing brush. What color do you want, ma'am? Did she ever say what color she wanted? Did she tell us? Are we choosing the color? So we select the hair part. So we're gonna start with the front here and we're gonna start applying. So we pull down. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Wait, is this the color she said she wanted? I don't even remember. What color did she say she wanted? No, it parts it in everything. Okay, this is really cool. I am not gonna lie. This is really cool. It would be nice if we had to do several passes, like not just one pass would get it if we had to go down and then go up and go down again, or, you know, like go back and forth to get it. I don't know why I'm doing these little hand motions. Maybe that will be something that's in the final version. I don't know. We're gonna do this part next. Are we supposed to do like a certain part first? See, I'm not an actual hairdresser. I didn't go to cosmetology school, so I don't know what we're supposed to actually be doing here. I'm probably doing this in all the wrong ways possible. All right, so her left side is complete. We're going to move over to her right side. I'm going to drag down and paint. There we go. And we'll select the bottom and drag down and paint that as well. This is really cool. So what happens if we do sub parts? Do we get more points for that? It's basically the same thing, but we just do little sections at a time. Wow, that's really cool. There's so many layers. It would be cool if you like had to do specific ones, like you had to do them in a certain order. I don't know if that's actually going to be a part of the full game when that releases, but it's cool that we at least have the option to toggle subpart selection. And now we have just two more left here. God, we really chose a terrible ass hair color. We should have not done that. I don't know what I was thinking. No, I actually wasn't thinking at all. That's the truth. And now we are just about at 100%. All right, so we're going to exit. And what's next? Walk up to the hair washing chair and press E to start working with the customer. Oh, so we're going to wash the dye out. Oh, I see. So she's going blonde. Is that what 
she's doing. I can't tell. That's either blonde or like a very light baby pink. All right, so we're going to be rinsing off any leftover dye. We are going to hold left click to do it. She even has a little pimple on her cheek and look at the shine on her cheeks. This is the kind of hyper realism that I actually live for. All right, let's rinse off this hair dye. Oh, this is going to be a really pretty shade, actually. I shouldn't have judged it too soon. That does look nice. I'm sorry, man. We got to spray you in the face. Yaga. Look at the water filling up in the sink. Oh my gosh, the water level's rising. And when you stop, the water drains. And when you continue, it starts rising it. Okay, the details in this are really insane. You guys, this is free. The demo, this is free right now on Steam. I don't know how long it's going to be up, but it's free. I know you guys like the word free. You like free things. So go give this a shot and then come back and let me know what you think of it. All right, so we're bringing her back over to the chair. I'm assuming that we are going to blow dry her hair as well. Yep, we're back to the hair dryer. Whoosh. Look at those physics. My God. That looks so good. I'm like scalped right now. No, that's the perfect word for this. Hairdresser simulator. <laughs> scalped right now. Oh, we got to get the top of her head. Shit. There we go. Styling hair is another of the hairdresser's most important tasks. To straighten Posey's hair, open the tool wheel and select straightener. Press left click to select the hair part and move the mouse down while holding left click to straighten hair. Oh, so we're going to be straightening her hair. Oh man, this is going to be so cool. Oh, it's pleasing to the eyes. Very very pleasing to the eyes. I'm assuming we do it from top down. I do hope there are like difficulty modes, you know, like there's an expert mode where it's really not telling you what you need to be doing and how you need to be doing it, but you just need to know. For people that actually went to cosmetology school and know how to do hair the correct way. Wow, this actually looks really good. Oh, cool. You have completed the course. Good job. So we have skills unlocked cutting hair with scissors and cutting hair with hair clippers. Okay, this is cool. So it's is she all done? Is this all the work she wanted done? Oh, I feel much better now. Yeah, I think that's it. Honestly, I couldn't have done it better myself. I mean, we didn't really do much but dye your hair and flat iron it and blow dry it. I think you could have done just fine yourself. Feels good when how you look reflects who you are on the inside. Yes, I agree with that. And I swear, I'm less of a mess than I seem to be. Oh, she's so nice. Give my warmest regards to Jordy. He really knew what he was saying when he recommended I see you this time around. Hope you've learned your lessons because... School is out. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to get out of your hair now. Good luck with your salon. Remember to take good care of it. Pick one that feels like a good fit or just one you can afford for now. Rent in this city can get crazy expensive. Remember to keep your workplace presentable. How else will customers know they can trust you with their appearance? You gotta show them your best side. All right, so we were at his shop, but I think we have to go and start our own shop now. I was looking at some of the preview pictures too. It's kind of like House Flipper in the sense that yes, you can do all this hair stuff, but you can even customize your own salon. Like I think you even construct and build things and put things together, do flooring and wallpaper. So there's elements from House Flipper, I think. I don't know if we're gonna be getting into that, but this is really fun, guys. All right, so we have salon, salon info, hairdressing courses, what shop, manage personnel, and customer scheduler. Oh my gosh, so we can hire people? Okay, this is really cool. Cool. This is really cool. It's like a whole business, it's like a tycoon, basically. All right, so we're going to preview the salon. I'm guessing this is going to be our salon. So we have a little preview. Nice to meet you. Oh my God, and look at it on the inside. It's literally house flipper. So we start with like a rundown shack and then we basically like build it up rags to riches from the ground up. That is so cool. So it's an old like meat shop. It's an old deli, I guess. And we're transforming it into our own salon. God, this is going to be so so freaking fun. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and buy this thing. Hey kid, I know I said I'd leave you alone. No, I need all the help I can get, please. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But do you have a moment to talk about company branding? Yes, I do, because I don't know what I'm doing, like I said. I'm very happy to see you try and make it on your own. Well, thank you. Still, people need to be able to tell you from the competition. That's why it's important to put some thought and effort into your own label. Wow, this is going to be so Take fun. Take a minute to design something that fits your idea of your brand. Hmm, 
trying to think, guys. If we do a shop, okay, should we make it like lemon themed for the channel? Or just look silly enough. Wow. Background, pattern, name, and frame. Okay. This is where we have to get creative, and I'm going to need some help. I wonder if I can save this and come back because I do want to wrap up this video, and I probably will be playing this again. I don't know how much is even included in the demo, but like, I don't want to put the game down. Like, this is when you're reading a book and it gets really good. You can't put it down. I literally just want to keep playing right now. So we have a lot of different patterns that we can choose from, and these are background patterns. I'm looking for something that has lemons on it, but I doubt we're going to find anything with lemons on it. Oh my gosh, we can even adjust the banner size. Can we like move it around? Background density. That's really cool. So it's like scaling the pattern. I don't want the sign to be too big, so I'm going to keep it pretty small. Now we need to choose a pattern. Actually, you know what? I want to go with a solid background. Is that even an option? Yes, it is an option. Cool. We're going to go ahead and do this one and we are going to call our salon pixel cuts. One word. God, that sounds so terrible. I want to choose a thicker font though. God, this is so cool. <laughs> you guys, what? Okay. I knew this was going to be fun, but I didn't know it was going to be this fun. Oh, this is adorable. I wish I can make the text a little bit bigger though. It's so cute. And now we can choose the frame that we want our sign to go in. We're going to stick with the wood frame. We're going to do one of the thin ones though. And we will make the banner just a little bit bigger since we decided to go with the thin border. There we go. That's cute. So we're going to save our logo and we're going to enter the salon. So we own Happy Meat, which is what it's called. There's a little bio here that says one day someone has been cutting pig's ears off here. So now you can do the same with your customers. Sorry, just joking. Yeah, you better be. I'm not cutting anyone's ear off. We suck, but not that bad. All right. Every hair salon needs to be tidy. So you need to throw away the rubbish regularly. Grab Grab and hold the object with left click, then aim at the bin and release the button to throw it away. When you buy a new salon or want to redecorate your current one, sell the furniture to earn some extra cash. Simply walk up to a piece of furniture, take out the wallet and hold left click. Some didn't take very good care of this place. To fix the holes in the walls, approach them, take out the trowel and hold the left click button to patch them up. Gee, so it literally is house flipper, but now we can have a hair salon career with it. That is really cool. And and of course, we can even clean windows. So we have a whole taskbar here. I'm going to end this video here. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know below. OK, I'm going to go based off of the feedback in the comments from when I upload this. If you want more, let me know. God, this is so freaking cool. We now get to start our own shop and have our own career. I think this is a good stopping point for this video. And if I decide to go forward, I guess you'll know when I upload it. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's a free demo of this up. Go ahead and give it a shot. It's on Steam. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Happy, not life simming, but hairdressing. Bye, everybody.